This device is called EPD. It's a personal dosimeter. So it will measure dose rate in microsievert per hour and cumulated dose in microsievert. And it will measure two types of dose. The dose to your skin, which is called HP 0.07, and the dose to your body, uh, more deeply inside your body. It's called dose HP 10. The way to use it is, usually it's written off, so you want to go to on. You just have to push this button two time, for a few seconds. Now is operating. So, the way to use this device is to go to different menus. You just have to press this button and wait for the good menu to be written. We are looking for the dose HP10 and when I will see HP10 I stop. Now I will press two times. First time I see the dose, the accumulated dose in microsievert. And then it's zero at this moment. And then I press again and I see the dose rate in microsievert per hour. Then now I want to go to other menus. I press. I want to check the dose to the skin. It's HP 007. So I wait for HP 07 to be written. It's here. I press once and I can read the dose with the unit here, microsievert. It's the accumulated dose to the skin. At this moment it's zero microsievert. I press again and I will see the dose rate to the skin in microsievert per hour. It's zero. Then what is useful is to go to to clear. Clear. I press one time and then two times. Two times and it goes to zero. It means he is cleared. Uh, he has forgotten all the different measurements he made before and now he is ready for a new campaign of measurements. So I can for example decide to check the radiation in my house. I will put it in a place that I want to check and I will wait for a few minutes or hours depending on the dose, dose rate value. This device can measure a dose rate only above one microsievert per hour, which is quite high because it's ten times above the natural, the usual natural background. So it is useful in areas where the dose rate is quite, uh, quite high. And if you, if you wear it like that, or you put it in your pocket and you go to a contaminated place, you will do your job, make your measurements, and when you go back home a few hours later, you can check the dose that you have been accumulating during the moment elapsed between the moment when you made clear and the moment when you decide to read the measurements. So if you want to read the new measurements, you will press this button and go to TOT, which means total. Then you press again once and you see the total dose accumulated since the last time that it was used. It's, in this case it's 14 microsievert. And then, again if you use TOT, the first time you press it you have the dose H10, the dose deeply in your body, and the second time you have the dose to the skin H07, you see it's 22 microsievert, it's higher than the dose to, to, to your, the deep dose to your body. The main menus that you have to use with your EPD, your personal dosimeters, are HP10, HP07 and TOT. When you will, you will use, use it for the first time, you will note that you already have values in the total menu, you have a value, for example, 10 
for the HP 10 dose, 20 for the HP 07 dose. You have to write those values in a sheet of paper and write down the time of your new measurement. Time zero. And then you make your measurements. And after you, uh, a moment, and when you go back to TOT, you will see that you have new values. For example, if the ambient dose rate is 0.1 microsievert per hour, and you wait for 10 hours, this device will have been accumulating one microsievert. So you will see here, instead of 10, you will see 11. And maybe here, you will see 20 plus 1, maybe 21. And you will note that at time T1, which is, for example, 10 hours later, you see a new value and the accumulated dose between time 0 and time 1 is the difference 21 minus 20, which is 1 microsievert, and here it's 11 minus 10, which is 1 microsievert. So you can say during this period of 10 hours at this place, a static place or maybe your body because you moved around, you will say, okay, the dose I've been accumulating is 1 microsievert. And then you press the clear button. The clear button cannot delete these values. It will only delete the instant values that you can see in those menus. So you really have to think to write on a sheet of paper the values that are available in the total menu and to subtract them anytime you make a new campaign of measurement.